Now, Parabola is one of the conic sections that we're going to be working on in this unit. Now, Parabola has two sets of equation because it has two sets of orientation. One is a parabola opening upwards and downwards or opening vertically. The other one is a parabola that's opening sideways, which is to the left or to the right. Now, the parts of the parabola that we need to consider and we need to know to be able to understand parabola will be our directrix, which is a line right here, the vertex, and the focus and also the axis of symmetry. Now the vertex is the midpoint between the focus and the directrix. So therefore there is an equal unit or number of units away from the vertex to your directrix and vertex to your focus. And this is a very important um, concept to use to be able to analyze and understand parabola. Now the directrix is a fixed line in a parabola and this line right here is your guide that you know that you will never cross this line with your parabola and your focus will be the fixed point inside a parabola so it's always going to enclose your parabola when you're graphing them now once again all these parts go hand in hand because if you know the parts you would know how the parabola is supposed to open now the axis of symmetry it is the line which cuts through the middle of the parabola so you'll have a mirror image of the left side and the right side. And these are the parts of your parabola that we're going to be using when we're analyzing and, and, and writing the standard equation of your parabola. So now that you know the parts, let's understand the different set of equations that we will use in writing the equation of a parabola. So we have two types of parabola. The one that's opening vertically, which is opening upwards or downwards, or the parabola that's opening horizontally, which opens to the right or to the left. Now, for the first set of parabola, the only difference when it's opening upward or downwards is the value of your P. So P is positive when your parabola is opening upwards, and P is negative when it's opening downwards. And it's also going to be x minus h squared equal to 4p times y minus k for the standard equation of your parabola. Now, for the parabola that's opening horizontally, you will notice that we have the exponent 2 on x minus h for a, a parabola that's opening vertically and for the parabola that's opening sideways your orientation will change and so does your formula so now your formula will be y minus k squared equal to 4p times x minus h and just like this set of formula the p value is going to change its sign whenever the parabola is opening to the right or to the left. So when the parabola is opening to the right side, your p-value is positive, and when it's opening to the left side, your p-value will be negative. And we'll have more example of that later on, so you will understand why the sign is changing for the p-value as the parabola is opening to the left or to the right or up or down. So these are the notations that we will use today. For the vertex, it's given by the point HK. For your focus, it's given by the point XY. And for the directrix, since it's a line, it could either be X equal to a number or Y equal to a number, depending on our parabola. So let's have our first example. So in our first example, we need to graph and analyze the parabola with the given center at 0, 0, given focus at 0, negative 3, and directrix at x equal to 3. Now, it's very important that you use a graphing paper when you're working with conic section, because to be able to analyze your conic section, you need to first graph the given parts on the given problem. So we have three parts, which is vertex, focus, and directrix. And if we're going to graph it, for the vertex, it's a point at 0, 0, so here at the center, the focus at 0, negative 3, so this is your focus at 0, negative 3, and your directrix is a line which is given by x equal to 3. So this is x equal to 3, and it's a line because it's your directrix. Now, here's why the focus is important, because the focus will tell you how the parabola is opening. Your parabola will always capture your focus, so that means this parabola is going to open horizontally which is specifically opening to the left side and when the left 
and when the parabola is opening to the left side, we know that the p-value is going to be negative. So when we're writing the equation of this parabola using this set of equation, y minus k squared equal to 4px minus h, we are going to replace k, p, and h to write the standard of equation specifically for this type of your parabola. So k and h is your center, which is basically at 0, 0. So you have 0 and 0 for k and h. And for p value, it's the distance between the vertex and the focus. And since it's opening to the left, it's going to be negative 3. We have 1, 2, 3 units. So we have negative 3 for our value of p. And when we simplify the equation, we'll have y minus 0 squared equal to negative 12 times x minus 0. And this is the standard equation of your parabola opening horizontally. And you can further simplify this because of 0, 0, you can change this into y squared equal to negative 12x as an equation of parabola. So these two equations will be the different versions of your parabola when it's opening from the point of origin. Now let's have more examples on analyzing and graphing a parabola given its part. Now for example number two, instead of three parts, we are now down to two parts of a parabola. Now we only have to graph and write the standard equation of parabola with a center at 0, 0 and focus at 3, 0. So first, you have to organize the given value or given parts. Both of them are points, which is at 0, 0 and point at 3, 0. Now we know that the focus is always inside the parabola and this is very important because we want to know how the parabola is opening and since we know it's inside the parabola it's going to open upwards and it can it can never open on the other direction because it needs to cover your focus. So that's what you need to remember when you're graphing a parabola so you would know how the parabola is opening. So since this is how it opens, we just need to find the other part which is the directrix. Now the directrix is easily found by counting the number of units of your vertex to your focus which is one, two, three units. So if you move three units down, that will be your directrix, which is at y equal to negative 3. 1, 2, 3. So you have to remember that since the directrix has the same distance as the focus from the vertex, then finding the directrix is found by counting three units opposite the vertex. And that's how we found the directrix at y equal to negative 3. Now, to write the standard equation of your parabola, we will need the equation x minus h squared equal to 4py minus k. And the reason why we're using this set of formula is because the parabola is opening vertically. So h and k is just 0 because that's your center. Now p will be positive 3 because it's opening si I mean upwards. So you have 1, 2, 3 units for your p. And you just have to write or replace p by 3 so that you can simplify the equation of your parabola. So by substitution, you'll have x minus 0 squared equal to 12 times y minus 0, which is the standard equation of a parabola. Now by simplifying your standard equation, you can also change it into x squared equal to 12y. So these two can be a representation of the equation of a parabola that is opening upwards. Now if this parabola, let's say, is opening downwards, now you know that instead of writing 12, you'll have negative 12y. So that's why it's important to know how the parabola is opening so you would know the sign of your p-value. Now for the set third example, we have to um, graph and analyze the parabola with given directrix at x equal to 2 and center at 0, 0. Now, these are the given parts, and just like what we did on the other two examples, we need to first graph the given parts. So we have the center at 0, 0, and directrix at x equal to 2. Now, we know that directrix is just a line, so just draw a vertical line along x equal to 3 to complete your graph. And to find the missing part, which is the focus, since this is just equidistant, so if the vertex to the directrix is 2 units, the number of units from your 
vertex to your fo focus will also be two units. So you have one, two, giving you an ordered pair of negative two, zero. And this is your focus based on the given parts of the graph, which is the center and the directrix. Now to write the equation of the parabola, we have y minus k squared equal to 4px minus h. So notice that we are using different set of equation because this one is openings sideways. So when it's opening to the left or to the right, you're using y minus k squared equal to 4px minus h. And by replacing k, p, and h, we'll have y minus 0 squared equal to 4 times neg negative 2 times x minus 0, which when you simplify will give you y minus 0 squared equal to negative 8 x minus 0. So this is the standard equation of your parabola that's opening to the left. You have a negative p because of its opening. So we can change it still to y squared equal to negative 8x because we don't need to write 0 in your equation. And that is how we write and analyze the parabola when the vertex or the given vertex is at 0, 0.